basic slide package now is predicated on the point that all of our slides will start originate from the crease. And no matter where the ball is, whatever man is going to the goal, our help for that player will come from the crease. So no matter what situation, what offensive set, be it a 1-4-1 or a 2-3-1 or a 2-2-2, we are always going to slide from the crease unless one of our two rules, which I originally started with, with you was if there is no crease or if the man adjacent to the ball carrier cuts through. Uh, otherwise, we'll always go from the crease. So let's look at some, some three of the uh, more familiar offensive sets that we see to play against. First, uh, from the rear, a 1-3-2. So one offensive player behind A, three across, a B, C, and D, and then the two up top, E and F. For uh, some of you, you would call this a 2-3-1. For others, they would start behind the goal and call it a 1-3-2. So our key guy on this defense is number three because he is playing C on the crease. So he knows that he is going to be the slide guy, whoever man dodges from wherever he has the ball and beats our player, then he's the first to go to slide. It's very, very important for him to be in front of his man, between his man and the ball. If he was here behind the ball, it would be very hard for him to slide to get to help out six because C could block him off. By, be, by him being in front of the ball, he has a much easier path to help slide and get to the uh, help man. So as F drives and D stands still, does not leave, then three will go to double. Now, you can understand why it will be very, very important for us to know where this ball carrier is going to go. And so that is the job of six as the defensive player, is to make his man go to the part of the field where three can effectively cut down his um, territory and limit his access to the goal. So for that reason, we tell our team that the field is divided in half. And that if your man starts on this side of the field with the ball, then you are to keep him on that side of the ball. I'm sorry, on that side of the field. So six's job is to make F go that way. In fact, he even wants him to beat him. It's more important for him to stay up here on his back and make him go down here than it is to let him go a few steps and then come back this way that will mess up our whole slide from number three. So six's job is to push him down. Soon to go on extra man, Dennis powers his way, playing catch, catch with the, the freshman, freshman Spencer, Spencer, who rolls into the alley, has no room there. There is a flag. back for Sherlock, and then Romar Dennis. Marked on the outside by Zanker. Drifted behind the cage to Sirico. Pelton gets right into his flank. Spencer's got a short stick matchup here. So does Albrecht, didn't pull the trigger though. Nearing the four minute mark of the third quarter. 9-7 for Loyola. Deemer Clash striking early for Duke. In quarter three. Shot clock now on against Loyola. 30 seconds.
Ontario, Canada, suburb of Toronto. Dennis turns. Spencer with a catch. Dennis and Pat Spencer in no hurry now. Fighting off road, splits the double. minutes with which to work. Omar Dennis shaking loose from Van de Ven. Spencer's pass was knocked down by... ...up by Ethan Powley. We expect this to be the matchup throughout the day. Blue Devils best cover, long stick. Trey Powell off the head fake. This one's whistled wide. Shots of late. The defense is funneling those shots there. Spencer on the feed. Haywires! Already five points today for the freshman. Powley all over him. Jump shot comes. So what we have here is a classic crease sliding defensive stop against Rochester from a couple weeks back. Right here we can see everyone's matched up one on one. The ball's moving from the wing down behind to Jordan Wolf, who I've been covering all game. See everyone for the most part is inside the two point arc, which is really important, covering up the inside. Scott McWilliams is responsible for covering up the crease man who's right in the middle or the most dangerous area. And everyone's anticipating that if they do have to slide, that we're gonna cover up to the Dodging inside. here, you can see, I try to get my stick upfield, and I try to force him away from the cage. Now, Scott McWilliams, pretty much immediately recognizing that Jordan Wolf has a step, he leaves his man and slides to help. Now, as you see him leaving his man, doesn't that leave someone open across the field? It does, so Scott has left his man on the inside. Luckily, Andrew Sellers, number 18, does a great job of sucking into the middle and covering that most dangerous area on the field. As Jordan gets slid to from Scott, he runs away from the cage. As soon as Scott gets there, he's yelling to me, release, release, release. I'm looking to the inside, uh, staying with that cutter through the inside. And so now it's up to me to find the open man. So between Max Seabald, who's down here on the backside, and myself, we need to cover John Rannigan as well as the middies up top. I cover up the man inside, Max bumps up to the middies, and now we're matched up. We've got one, two, three defensemen on three attackmen, and we've got one, two, three midfielders up on there. 